Tonight, the tiny rural town of Danbury is still grieving over the loss of a hard working husband, father and his two young sons. All three were killed in a fire that broke out in the middle of the night and raced through the small manufactured home that they lived in. All of this happened just off of the Blanchard Loop in Brazoria County, and that is where we find investigator Bill Spencer tonight with the latest on this tragic story, Bill. Daniela, take a look at all that is left of the dream home that Sydney Cruz and her husband Ramon moved into just a couple of months ago, along with their two young sons, Wyatt and Logan. But suddenly last Tuesday, this place caught fire. It was engulfed in flames in the middle of the night, killing Ramon and his two young sons. This completely incinerated blackened shell of a home is the ghastly reminder of where Sydney Cruz last saw her precious family. Last Tuesday morning at 3 a.m., while Sydney was hard at work, fire raced through this small manufactured home that she and her husband Ramon had moved into just months ago, killing her husband and her two beautiful boys, six year old Wyatt and eight year old Logan. This heartbreak for her. To come here and plan a whole new life, and then your life, your children's life be taken, it's unimaginable. Both Ramon and Sydney had just moved here from New Jersey to the tiny town of Danbury to reunite with their family. Both were working hard as maintenance workers at the Children's Clubhouse Daycare, as well as doing other odd jobs as well to make money to support their two young boys. Co-workers at the daycare say what they remember most is how close this tight-knit small family was and how joyful those boys were. Happy, happy all the time, energetic, running up and down the halls while she was cleaning at night. Fire investigators with the Brazoria County Fire Marshal's Office say the cause and origin of this deadly blaze is still unknown. What is painfully clear is that Sydney has lost everything and can't even afford the funeral expenses to bury her husband and her two young sons. She lost her home, her family, her car, all of her belongings was left with less than nothing, I mean, her own family. We're planning a benefit called Carga de Cruz, which translates to carry your cross, um, because she needs all of us now. She no longer has her husband or her children. And speaking of that fundraiser, it will be held this Sunday at the Community Baptist Church right here in Danbury. All of the proceeds will go to help out Sydney. The cost is 15 bucks, and it will go from 1030 in the morning until the food runs out. There is also a GoFundMe account that has been set up to help Sydney out. You can go to that GoFundMe account on our website, clicktohouston.com. Reporting live in Danbury, Bill Spencer, KPRC 2 News. Boy, our hearts and prayers are with that community and with that woman tonight. Bill, thank you, sir.